Mark, are you with us? Mm. He must still be setting up. Can you hear me now? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, I had audio coming out of everywhere. Gross. He must still be setting up. It was up. messy. Can you hear me now? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Burgomaster's Mansion. All right, why does it say? Why does it still say I'm playing Sea of Thieves? Maybe I need to reverse this. You're good to go. Did you level up yet, Mark? <laughs> yeah. Have you played that in a while, Mike? No, I'd like to play with you guys um, you soon. You should. It's awesome. All right. Yeah, I told him earlier that um, we're gonna invite him in next time we play. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'd, and, n now that they've got some more new stuff I haven't seen, I'd, I'd like to check it out. All right, well, it's so been... Uh, short tonight play. I think I'm leveled up, leveled eight, right? Yeah. Yes. Did you get yeah, any new eight, cool yeah. abilities? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? Level eight gave me an ability score improvement. Oh, yeah. So now I have plus seven decks. Uh, it's a odd number two, so it's not really going to do anything. Oh, sorry, that's a save. Plus four decks. Um, yeah. Well, okay, it's been uh, quite a, a bit of time since we last have played, so uh, it's good to see everybody again. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last we left our adventurers, you adventured back to the town of Velaki. You had delivered uh, the clockwork man to our, uh, our resident toy maker. And then you found Carmilla upstairs uh, trying to take Stella away from Velaki. Also, upstairs, um, you found the succubus murdering Victor Velakovich. And uh, while that was going on, downstairs there was a scream. You found a dart in someone's neck who uh, apparently didn't appreciate the uh, acrobatics and stunts that Pidwick II was performing. So um, the party was called off. Uh, once most of the guests had left, um, Elias had healed the man's wounds, saved his life sent everybody off, and then you broke the news to the Baron and his wife that their son had been murdered upstairs. So they began wailing in agony, of course, and freaking out. That's their only heir, the, the only line for their, uh, for the name of Velaki. It's based off of Velakovich. So it looks like that is a, a dead-end route. Um, they're a bit older, so questionable to have another kid regardless uh you guys made your way all the way upstairs and then to their bedroom um up the attic shaft and are now heading on your way to where you last saw the succubus um enjoying the uh the corpse of victor velakovich so that's where we're at welcome uh, back to castlevania ravenloft dnd mike can you reshare the map with me Sure, absolutely. I can do that now. There you go. Thank you. Much appreciated. Good. Of course. Um, it looks like Jack's still in his side adventure. I, I forgot to recap on him escaping the dungeon with a mill, but uh, apparently they tossed a violent, a violet stone into uh, some like big brazier that's a bra right brazier <laughs> brazier brazier sure and uh that teleported them away somewhere where it goes nobody knows but uh we'll find out if he comes in late on this or um or next time whenever he gets back so uh we'll start out with you alex alexandra what would you like to do Well, we did agree we were going to show the Baron and his wife what we found. 
Yep. Jeeves, are you coming with? Sure. This will be fun to watch. Hmm. Probably not the best choice of words. Mind your tact, Jeeves. <laughs> Yeah, the, the parents are rushing. They're kind of getting ahead of you. Um, you can tell that they'll reach the door before you if you let them. Would you like to let them open the door? or? No. I would... Son. Uh, yeah. I won't stop them if they're already ahead of us. All right. Then uh, they will reach the door first. Jeeves, you agree? Uh, uh, what makes you think she hasn't already cleaned up her mess and made it appear as if nothing's happened? I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I think you guys are more appraised of the situation than I am. I'm not sure what we're going to find here. Well, um, on the outside of the door, all is not well is still a sign hung there, and uh, the Burgermaster yanks the door open and exclaims, oh My God, all the blood! But uh, in his shock, you can't quite see the scene. Um, he's blocking the door at the moment. And he starts trembling, but uh, he cautiously walks inside. Um, Victor! he says, and his wife follows in behind. Uh, there's enough room for you guys to get Sir, in there. Sir, be careful. Careful. <laughs> I think streaming uh, the music bots, um, the soundboard bot, Twitch, and everything is kind of lagging you guys out on Discord a little bit, but um, when you enter the room, if I, don't, if I can't hear you on something, I'll just ask, but when you enter the room, uh, you can see Victor's actually on his feet. Uh, there's blood all over him, and um, it looks like there's a trail of blood leading to one of the windows, the windows um, that are to the north side. And um, I'd like everybody to roll an investigation check. Okay. All of us? Yeah. Yeah. Said everybody. Elias, very good. Mr. Jeeves, not so much. Yes? Uh, roll an investigation check. There you go. Um, okay. Elias, you notice, you don't. You might want to keep this to yourself, but you're the only one that noticed that the blood trail that leads to the window, it looks more like someone was dragged rather than had escaped through the open window. But um, you all notice uh, something you didn't expect was to find Victor alive. Uh, Victor says, Father, I'm so sorry that you had to see this. I was attacked. And his mother uh, rushes to his side as quickly as possible. Could not really. Yeah, yeah. I do. Oh, boy. You hear that? Maybe we'll have to do tonight without music. Uh, I'm going to kill the bots and see if that helps out yeah. my streaming. Yeah. This is why I was not keen on streaming everything. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. So you start saying something. Um, yeah, so Victor uh, says, Father, I'm, I'm so sorry that you had to see this. I, I've been attacked. And then his mother uh, rushes to his side and, and helps him up. And uh... Miss Vlakovich, wait, something's not right here. Uh, she just looks at you and, and oh. she's obviously uh, frightened. Um, she's already helping her, her son up, so. He... Um. If you wouldn't look for now, something blood trail, something appeared to the window as opposed to Will. 
Whew. Man, um, I am not getting much I'm on this. Look out the window. Victor, I suspect you are not, not Victor. What happened here? Um, in your mind, you hear the voice of Lilith, Elias, and uh, it says, just play along. And then you hear uh, Victor uh, tell his mother, it's, it's fine. I, the succubus that attacked me fled through the window over there. I'm, I think I'll be okay. She, she did unspeakable things to me, mother, but afterwards she resurrected my, my body. She revived me. And in your mind, Elias, you hear, uh, just, just to you only, If the boy is gone, then there's no reason for Stella to remain here. In on it. Oh. Time. Did any of that Has get through to you guys? A, a I'm sorry. Concern. Elias appears to be considering what he's just heard and making sense of the situation. And as he's thinking, he's looking at uh, Alex and Jeeves. But they don't know what Lilith has said to him. But he's one. Elias is wondering uh, if this would add up to what they saw earlier, because Elias wasn't there. Yeah, Alex has her suspicions, but she's keeping her mouth shut. So no action from Elias right now. Uh, Victor looks at Vargas and says, "Father, one of the guests." Uh, the one with uh, the revealing dress she and I had been talking and she wanted to come and see where I study my magic I couldn't resist and uh, you see Lady Velakovich uh, shoot Vargas a terrible look and says it must have been that one that you were leering at earlier Yes, yes, Father. It was, uh, it's actually a succubus in disguise. She, she had put me in some sort of trance, and the next thing I knew, we were kissing, and then there was blood, and I lost consciousness. But then I, I awoke, all of my wounds were healed, and she said something about preserving the seed and preserving the line of Velakovich, and then she left out the window. Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> Alex just cast a scathing glare to Jeeves and rolls her eyes. She wants no part of this deception. Sure that it's deception. Or not a hundred percent, but Alex has her suspicions, and she's pretty much used to this sort of thing by now. Alliance, what the succubus seems to be playing at, and what you know motivation. What they're doing right now, but he can't mind talk, talk to her. He still thinks it's a, it's a demon and should probably kill it, but he, <laughs> uh, not right now. It would seem we are in luck. Your son has been revived. I'm so sorry, Father, if I've ruined your, your ball. I know it was important to you. And Vargas says, this is, this is terrible. I... We should hunt the beast immediately. Uh, I'll call all the guards. And then uh, he rushes out of the room to uh, go and alert his guards. Um, uh, Elias looks out the window where the blood uh, led to, if he can see anything. Sure, Jeeves, I think you were doing the same, right? Yeah. Go ahead and, uh, and roll a perception check. Um, or investigation, whichever one's higher. Sure. 
Sure, Mr. Jeeves, you can see uh, the blood trail uh, looks like it continues on the roof to the north. Hmm. What was it that you said? I couldn't hear you. I'm going to go follow the trail. Okay. Uh, using your the nasty powers, <laughs> you uh, scale the wall uh, effortlessly, uh, climbing like a spider around the corner. Um, you gain access to the roof. And you can see kind of behind a tall tree uh, that covers part of the roof uh, is the dead body of Viktor Velakovich. Is it just laying on the ground? No, it's actually on the roof. Okay. Uh, so there's uh, no sign of the sucker busting. Uh, no, it doesn't appear Outside. to be. <laughs> but uh, it is kind of suspicious that there are two victors. Sure, but they don't know. Right, right. <laughs> they don't know about the body. No one knows about the body but you. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as we leave, she's apt to kill them both. And uh, Alliance whispers to Jeeves, uh, was the body out there? Uh, I'm not going to respond to that. Oh, wait, uh, uh, no, 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 yeah, no. <laughs> not going to respond to that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Victor He's says to wait. his mother, I don't know what she meant about preserving the line, but I'm sure that this was some kind of political ruse so that it would cause discourse between me being unfaithful and marrying Stella soon. And then, um, Alexandra, roll a perception check. Nice. Uh, you catch a very sly wink just directed at you to where uh, his mother couldn't see. It was a what? Um, Alexandra noticed a sly wink from Victor to Alexandra uh -oh. when uh -oh. uh, his mother wasn't looking. The Baroness uh, didn't yeah. really catch on. Alex just smirks and shakes her head. She knows better. She knew better the moment they entered the room, but now she has confirmation. Yes, well, Lydia uh, seems very shaken at, at the state of her son, and she says, My boy, we must get you cleaned up here. You're still covered in blood. I'm glad you're okay. And uh, she turns to, to you, Alexandra, and says, Well, I'm sure the guards will be hunting the succubus soon. Uh, if you can bring this creature to me so that I may serve it justice, I would make sure that you're greatly rewarded. We'll do what we can, madam. Might I have a word with Victor really quick? Regarding his, what happened... It would help me to hunt down the creature. I suppose it won't hurt. I'll, I'll go run him a bath. She heads out the door. She turns towards quote-unquote Victor. Uh, Victor walks over to the door and closes it behind him. And then shape shifts into uh, Lilith. <laughs> Kill them the moment we leave here, aren't you? No, absolutely not. I just knew that my friend had uh, certain interest in one of these nobles, so I wanted to make the comp the matter less complicated and make sure that that Stella was free to leave if she wished. So Carmilla is your friend, then? Of course, we've known each other for a very long time. Same master. Mm, these are things I wish not to speak of. These are things I wish to have answers to. Jeeves, can you answer me now? Is the body out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we 
there is a body. Uh, uh, it's drained. It's probably gone about 20 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> I think that's past your expiration time. 20 minutes. I yes. Mean, I'm assuming. Drained of every important fluid you could want from one of these nobles. Oh my. In fact, uh, the seed that I now carry may blossom to extend Vargas's line in ways that he could truly appreciate if given enough time. I think I'll just stay here and make sure that nothing crazy happens to Stella until she's made her final decisions about what she wants to do. Carmilla said that I wasn't to force her to do anything she doesn't want to do. But with me here, she will not have to bed some male that she wishes not to be with and still enjoy the comfortable life that the Volkoviches can provide for her. Promise me you'll protect her, please. Of course. Plus, Even from I think Strahd. it's quite fun to have access to this village. It's been a long time since I've been here. The last time I was here, it was helping resurrect you, I believe. Yes, it was. Which is why I didn't expose you. I owe you that much. Indeed. Well, I'm glad that such was appreciated. Oh, it was you... very may wish to uh, pay that favor by removing that corpse on the roof, if you could. Mm. I'll run these out to you. Uh, dreaded business. I hope it doesn't get discovered before I can get around to doing it. So, you helped us before? Out of character, I think that that was kept from Elias. I don't think you knew about that. Um, remember, she helped... Uh, I remember what happened. It was at the um, the house of the, the Watchers. Yeah. She... We kept the stooge from finding you guys and stopping the ritual. Yeah, but I don't know if Elias knew about that. Hmm. <laughs> um... I think that she was... that Like, Alexandra... Um, I mean, April. April, you took control of the succubus back then. Weren't you kind of yep. teasing him? I kind of remember Elias... Yep. Yeah. Indeed I was. Yeah, you 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 were definitely aware of the succubus, Elias. I mean, I, I, knew, I remember her being around, but, like, her being part of the plan to, to do that. I don't know if Elias uh, was privy to that going on or not. Because I know that he was in a different part of the house the whole time. I think Jeeves knew, because didn't Jeeves almost stumble in on them? Jeeves did. How did yeah. But, like, when you guys were agreeing to the plan, Elias was in a different room. Well, Alex was dead, so... <laughs> but it, it, it doesn't matter now, but... Um, so Elias will ask the succubus, um, how long ago was it that uh, that Victor lost his life? Oh, it's, it's only been about 15 minutes. Let's see. Well, I couldn't bring him back if I wanted to then. Would you really want to? Just as my um, my service is to what I am and what I do, yes, I feel obligation to do such things, but I understand your motivation and what you want to do. But um, at this point, I am not entirely against your actions because I would rather Stella have freedom of choice myself. She's been through too much. Well, while we have this opportunity to chat, I was just wondering about your personal thoughts on stealing away someone's natural ending and bringing them back. Is it that's the natural way of humans to have some sort of end? What gives you such power to rip them back from the veil and bring them here? I'm not saying that it's nothing I would do. I'm just curious on how you feel about the matter. Well, I wouldn't say a succubus draining someone's life is a natural end. So as long as it came about some unnatural cause, then you would you would intervene. But what if, I don't know, maybe one day you die an honorable death in combat? Would you feel it would be robbed from you if someone brought you back? Well, that depends on the situation. If, the, if I knew the person well and knew they were ready to die, then I would not intervene, of course. But that's a very complicated matter for a different time. 
You humans are such interesting creatures. If you'd like to talk more, you and I should spend some more time together. I'm afraid I'll have to pass. Well, you'll know where to find me. And then her face, uh, you can tell that something worrying is happening. It looks like she's listening to something you can't hear. And then uh, she shapeshifts back to Victor. Carmilla has just least... sent me a message. Uh, I believe that Strahd may be at least seeking her, perhaps even coming here. I don't know if we're in danger or not. Do you think that Strahd would come into this village? I wouldn't put it past him. He doesn't have his nightmare anymore. Uh, me and Jack actually killed it. So he can't travel. She casts a slight glare towards Elias for that still. Elias and Uh, then in Victor's Sorry. voice. Well, the guard should be here any moment now. Uh, I'll make sure Stella stays safe unless we have any unexpected company. Hopefully that won't happen here. I wonder how Strahd found out about Carmilla. He has a shadow following me, my own shadow that has been possessed. Uh, she takes a closer look at your shadow. Hmm, interesting. It looks just like a regular shadow to me. By the way, she just rolled twice three on perception for finding your shadow <laughs> to be anything different. Wow. Because we left it somewhere else earlier. It was fleeing from came back yet or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when you found it, 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 it decided to follow you again. So all of this conversation has been privy to the Shadow's knowledge. Yeah. Which is probably why Strahd is on his way. Oh, he was on his way before, I think. Um, did anyone else know that? If they didn't, uh, they should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> you can always assume your Shadow is with you now, unless I explicitly say that it left. Uh, but when you went and found it, after it was attacked unsuccessfully, uh, you were reunited with it. Hmm. Remember, Carmilla tried to burn it with a flame. It fled to an adjacent room, then you went and found it. Well, I went into a room to see if I could find it, and I didn't see it, and I went back to Stella. Oh, well, it found you. Uh, crap. Uh, hmm. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll have to retcon something. I'm just going to say, let's see, does this information really matter to Strahd? Just for my poor communication skills, I'm going to say that the shadow just now slinks under the door and attaches itself to you. <laughs> Almost on cue. What? There we go. What? All fixed. Um, just to see if I could find it after it was attacked, and I didn't see it. I think... No, I, I rolled a good perception check, and I saw it, but it didn't see me, and I went back into the room with Stella. You know, Strahd would be really disappointed in this shadow, because... <laughs> the shadow's yeah. useless. I mean, it's helped us more than it hurt us so far. Yeah, it uh, it took the brunt of a lot of dragon fire, and then while it was trying to recover and find you guys, uh, it it missed getting you at the, uh, the, the Vistani camp, so... It finally showed it's up. It's a good helper, but it's a bad minion. It finally showed up just after Carmilla had spilled a lot of good information that Strahd would have loved to know, and then it missed getting back to you to the, until now in this room. So, this shadow is is just doing a terrible job. <laughs> so, did it come before or after Elias told uh, Lilith how Strahd? It just now came back. So you guys have okay. no worries. Uh, the Is DM, the shadow susceptible to sunlight? Yeah, the DM didn't remember over, you know, four weeks or whatever since it's been. Uh, let's see. NPCs. Let's see. Shadows. Uh, 
Uh, you can test it out if you'd like. <laughs> and irritate Strahd more than he already is? Not right now, but perhaps in the future. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to answer that question out of character. But if you'd like to test it, feel free to do so at your convenience. I don't want to risk hurting Lilith while she's here, because she may possibly be undead, so I will leave that part alone for now. Um, so Victor goes and, uh, and says, Well, I can hear Father returning with the guards. I should go and take that bath Mother is running. Yes, thank you for your assistance. This should help greatly in our hunt for the creature. Well, she trust smirks. me, it was my pleasure. And then um, she walks out of the room. Unless uh, anyone has anything to say to her as she's approaching the door. Uh, Elias puts his hand on his head and just... just kind of... <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Uh, okay. Complicated with the creature of the night. I did warn you. You were going to be black and white. I don't remember you said. I agree. What was that? Did warn you something black and white? That nothing, none of this was going to be pure black and white. Oh yeah, that's just not my style. All right, so um, the family is attending to their business. Uh, what would you guys like to do now that you're in this attic room all by yourself here? It's, a nice little collection of amateur magical studies. Um, the rug still covers the the symbol there that uh, he uses to try and test out teleport magic that never works. Uh, all this that was discovered a long time ago, back when Jack investigated this room too. Any shinies? Um, shinies. Let me see. Uh, roll a search check. And I will check oh. myself here. Oops. It's investigation. Well, there is the spell book that he uses. Or used. I guess he doesn't use it anymore. <laughs> you can take that if you'd like. Well, the question... Coming here for Stella and helping her with Carmen seems to be well it is what Madame Ava's fortune was for her. I can't imagine the answer to this do what she would like with Stella but yeah. Stella seems quite sure of herself in um, letting Carmela steer her how she wants so she should be Hello. Elias, I think the bottom line is that for now she's safe. Isn't that all that matters? She would have been safe, quote unquote, if we hadn't have come at all. Madame Ava must have had something in mind for us to do about this. Uh, she She'd have been miserable. Here. She wanted me to come here as well for, uh, well, yeah, mine's out on the roof. But, uh, yeah. If only you were here a little sooner. But I quite like this outcome. So uh, I put the <laughs> spell book in the uh, the loot window, if you want to take that. The Electrum Spork is still there for some reason. I can't remember what we were doing with that, but... <laughs> I'll have a talk once more with the poor girl just to see how she takes this um, course of events. If she, I can't imagine the normal girl would be so, so uh, easily going along them her um, even if she didn't outright love a man, I don't imagine she idea of him being murdered for her sake. Yeah. 
uh, the last that you saw her, she was in the room with the wedding dress. So, Elias, um, is going to go back to her boy. Okay. Since Jeez. Victor. What say you and I'm on Pedwick? Or that he doesn't get disassembled. Okay. Oh, okay. So, Jeeves, are you going to uh, Blink's East Toy Shop? I'm following uh, Alex. The both of you? I'm sorry, Discord was cutting out a little bit when she was speaking. Alex and I are going to yes. go check on Pidwick. Oh, okay. Well, the last you saw, uh, Blinsky was escorting him out to his toy shop. Most of the, le the guests, including Blinsky and Piddlewick II, have left. All right. Does Elias hear... Uh, that uh, um, they want to make sure he's not disassembled. He had already started to walk. I don't know what the order of that was. Sure, you can choose to hear that if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Guys, I think Pidwick does need to be disassembled. He's clearly dangerous. We promised Straw. Do you really want to go up against him? Which one do you consider more dangerous? We promised Straw what now? not to allow him to be ruined or disassembled or broken. Uh, we've promised Strahd a few things, but I am told no intention of keeping those. We're going to kill him ultimately. <laughs> uh, yes, say that in front of the shadow <laughs> a little louder, why don't you? Oh. Yeah, that's that's a lot. My bad. Uh, Elias is bad. <laughs> well then, Jeeves, shall we continue on to make sure Pidwick is not disassembled? Right. <laughs> okay. Elias, I leave you any deeper. All right, Elias, I'll put you in the room with Stella there, and then um, Alex and. Uh, Jeeves, you see plenty of guards posted around. Uh, it looks like the whole city guard is is at the mansion at the moment, and then they're about to disperse on a hunt for the succubus. Um, you remember the body up on the roof, and then start walking uh, away from the mansion up the street to uh, Blinsky's Toys, which is very close by. Um, while you're walking, uh, Elias has made his way to Stella. Um, she lets him in the room that she had locked because she was afraid. And she says, is Victor dead? Well, uh, yes, we have a few things to discuss. Uh, Victor is quite dead, and currently a succubus that goes by the name Lilith is assuming his form and being bathed by your parents. Um... <laughs> Make it even more disturbing for her, why don't you? So, uh, what is going on, apparently, is that the succubus under Carmilla's service has decided to murder Victor. Well, it's definitely one less reason to be here. Uh, two, if you consider I'll be spending company with a succubus demon? Is that a plus for you? Um, I... <laughs> It's kind of, um, it's quite complicated. Normally I would have just struck the demon down, but uh, the situation is quite complicated. Well, I know Carmilla is different than others, but if it's not like I prefer to keep the company of demons. Yeah, yes, and they both are quite demonic. Um, as devoted as they seem to be to their own very interesting warped ideas of good. Uh, but yes, uh, Victor was quite brutally uh, destroyed. His corpse is on the roof. Uh, they want the, the succubus wanted us to dispose of it, but we are choosing not to, and your parents have no idea this is going on. Uh, you see that she starts to cry just a little and wipes her tears and says, I didn't have feelings for Victor, but this is my fault that he's dead. In a way, you could look at it in such um, a view, but 
I don't hold it as your fault. This is certainly the work of evil, and one reason I was cautioned you against associating with these beings. But I understand your situation. I feel terrible for you, and my my goal in this was to be sure you were contented and to offer you a way out if you so marriage away from this town. Um, but it is definitely your choice. Well, where could we go? Well, um, one option actually within the town is to leave you with the, the Blue Water Tavern folks oh, who Jesus I trust Christ. quite deeply. The shadow's still with you! <laughs> so Elias doesn't even know that's a problem right now. Like Even when Alex told him about it, he didn't realize what was going on. You just murdered the Mardukov family. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Alex, let him make his mistakes. <laughs> so... So yeah, he just he tells the Blue Water Tavern people, and that's one option. But um, he doesn't explicitly tell them that they're in open opposition to Straw. That would have to be an assumption on the Shadow's part. Yeah, you may have said something if someone didn't speak up, ruining all my fun. Anyways, continue. Uh, the Blue Water Tavern. I I don't know if just standing in some random tavern is going to be much of a future for me. Oh, actually, they um, they have some children there that we've um, actually had them adopt. They have a house, oh, a nice lodging upstairs for a family, and uh, they're just good people. Uh, they've done us well. They've actually made this um, relic um, usable for me. If you've ever heard of the Spear of, of Longinus that pierced Christ, they actually repaired it for me. Quite a valuable artifact, if, if I might say so. So they're um, quite capable and quite nice people. Um, of course, it would be completely different for you, but um, well, I've never heard of that. Thing, my, and it's one of the very my time spent as a cat girl kind of stunted a lot of opportunities for learning. Yes, uh, how are you with how are you with children? Do you enjoy their company? To be quite honest, I don't feel I enjoy anyone's company. Carmilla was an exception, and to be quite frank, I'm. I'm not too thrilled about yours. But I also don't like the idea of staying with a succubus that's pretending to be my future husband. Hmm. I just wish I could have went with Carmilla. Well, uh, I will remind you as well that um, I may have mentioned this before, but we went to the Vistani camp and Madame Ava, I don't know if you've heard of her or not, but she's never led us astray and a fortune that she read for me um, led me here to help you with this. It must be our destinies in some way are intertwined in resolving this problem and I'm not sure what the answer is, but it's certainly leaving it alone and letting Carmilla have her way with you. Well, our destinies are certainly intertwined. I'd still be a cat girl if it wasn't for you and your friend. However, it seems the more you stick around, the more danger I'm in. I don't want to stay with Vistani. Uh, my family, although dead, would not approve. Vistani are not to be trusted. Well, it's hard to say anyone here could be trusted. I'm sure you could hardly trust me, but um, no party here is innocent. Oh, I beg to it's differ. It's all on you. Stella is. Well, we're not talking about her. We're talking about people she could trust. Uh, I don't mean you, of course. I mean uh, the parties involved are people that you can turn to and trust, of having somewhere you would feel safe. All options seem bad in their own way, and I'm deeply sorry about that. Do you think that there's any possibility that we could have some kind of wedding with the not Victor, and then it go away, and I could just be here as a part of their family without demons in the house? Or is this a permanent residence? If you talk that over with uh, with Lilith and Carmilla, I think they may very well go along with that. I don't know what their plan for you is, but that would be a favorable outcome for many here. 
of course, that is just my counsel as uh, an observer. I mean, it wouldn't be maybe my top choice, but if that one makes you happy, then that probably is an option, yes. Well, the easiest thing to do is to do nothing at all, and if I just stay here, I know Carmilla wouldn't let anything happen to me. That seems to be the succubus' uh, role for right now, is to watch over you and make sure that nothing falls you. So she's friends with Carmilla? They very closely work together, yes. Still, Victor's death is my fault. It's... It's guilt that I don't know how to deal with. But I'll stay here. It's the wisest thing to do, I think. It's something that someone should never have to shoulder, and you've already had so much trouble in your life, being born how you were in the family that you were, and this fortune that befell them, you know, being under the spell that you were, and now this, you know, death and loss, dealing with someone that you knew. I can't begin to make anything right, but uh, certainly I will help you and encourage you to seek out your happiness any way that you can. Well, part of me is glad he's gone. I wasn't looking forward to sharing a bed with him, and I do believe that his stupid magic that he tries to do is the cause of my previous condition. He was quite an idiot, I have to agree. <laughs> uh, she smirks a bit and then says, It's best that you stay away from here. Things seem to go crazy whenever you show up. Trouble follows us, um, to say the least. And as uh, Elias says, trouble follows us, he, he sees a shadow on the floor. And he slaps his head. <laughs> and he says out loud, oh, damn this. But he, he's, he's not even aware of what he's said or didn't say, because he can't remember everything he just said. So he's like, eh. mm. But he doesn't tell Stella why he just slapped his forehead. <laughs> okay. While all this is going on... Um... Alexander and Jeeves have made it to Belinsky's shop. Um, oh, looks like Mr. Jeeves just stepped away AFK for a moment. Well, is there anything that you'd like to wrap up with Stella? Um, no, I think that's all. Um, so after he says all that he's just said, um, and he slaps his forehead, and, and he's going to play that off as being like, oh, I just remembered I must be going. As you say, it is best that I leave you be for now, but uh, if you ever need us, if you ever need help from us, any service, um, let us know any way that you can, and we will not be far to help you. I feel some manner of oath of, of devotion to keeping you uh, in a better situation than you currently are. He's back. Well, if anything goes too crazy here, I, I'll try to go to that Blue Water Tavern that you mentioned. It's not actually too far away from Watcher House, if I if I remember correctly. Indeed. And, um, and tell them that I said hello, and um, you can try their waffles. They're not bad. Mm, I love waffles. All right, then. We'll His see you. Marks are better. <laughs> yeah, they are better. But um, so Elias walks out. And he's going downstairs and out, probably, to try it and go in the direction of um, the other two. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Jeeves and Alexandra come to Belinsky's toy shop. Um, you open the door. You see that there's now uh, it's a it's a well lit even even at this late late hour, uh, very well lit shop. Uh, you see all manner of creepy toys in the window. Um, it's amazing how awkwardly popular his toys can become with certain children. But it's, uh, it's flabbergasting that any kids would want to play with these terrifying things at all. Um, you open the door and let yourself in, and you see Blinsky uh, examining Mr. Piddlewick II, and completely thrilled uh, that this, this mechanical being is, is sitting in front of him. Um, he's fascinated with every everything about it, and you can tell that whenever... Uh, Mr. Piddlewick gets these uh, bits of attention. Uh, he likes it. Uh, he he even does a few tricks for Blinsky, and Blinsky just eats it up. Um, if only the 
other man on the uh, in the Burgermaster's mansion would have been such appreciative of his skills, then maybe this that terrible event might not have happened. Ah, oh, my friends, welcome. Come in, come in. I was just looking at our little friend here. He's, he's quite wondrous. Have you learned anything interesting of him yet? Oh, yes, yes. I, I believe uh, seeing the pristine work of the, the master smith that made this is... Having him so close is just amazing. I, I think that using techniques that I am assuming were used and, and figuring that were used to construct him, I should be able to create quite a few many interesting toys. But uh, I'm afraid uh, I would have to get it his insides to truly understand how he works and complete only the highest level of items that perhaps would be most useful to you. And, would um, you be able to open him up without disassembling him? I can try. And uh, he, he turns the little man around and starts messing with his back. And he pops open a slot and sees that it's loaded full of darts. <laughs> Alex reaches out and takes Pitalik's hand to calm him down and comfort him. It's all right. You don't have to be afraid. We're here. Well, he's jam-packed full of weapons. I don't know if I could see anything unless I took them all out. And Piddlewick just shakes his head no slowly. Uh, he hops he, down and, and kind of walks away from Blinsky a little bit. Alex kneels down to his height. You don't have to be afraid, Piddlewick. I won't let anything happen to you. I won't let him take you apart, and I won't let him turn you off. He crosses his arm, tilts his head, and starts tapping his foot. You won't take me for my word. He starts walking to the door, and he looks back at you like uh, he wants you to follow him. She does. All right. Uh, Jeeves, you see Alexandra and Mr. Piddlewick just walk out the front door. What do you want to do? Um, I guess I'll follow. All right. Uh, the three of you just kind of seem to be following uh, Mr. Piddlewick for a little bit, and um, he's just seemingly going nowhere. But um, he walks w and, and offers his hand to Alexandra and just stops. She takes his hand and glances down at him. What is it? What's wrong? And he just shakes his head no. I take it you didn't enjoy Blinsky's company. And he shrugs a little bit and then he says, he shakes his head no. Do you not trust me that I won't let him harm you? He doesn't say anything. After all I've done to protect you, my friend. Silence. Why won't you come back with me? At least let him take a look at you. If anything goes wrong, if you get scared, we'll take you away. I'll keep you safe. I made the promise to you. And he just kind of gets closer to you and shakes his head no. To tag along with us on our adventures, then. And then he quickly shakes his head yes. <laughs> okay. Jeeves, it appears we have another tag along. <laughs> yep, partly so. Shall we go apologize to Blinsky? After you. <laughs> Alright. Uh, you arrive back in the shop and Blinsky's like, Oh, I 
don't think he appreciates me toying around inside him. I really well, would love seems... to, to see how he truly works, though. He seems rather intent on protecting his insides. My apologies, Blinsky. Well, if anything happens, I promise I can repair him. I tried to assure him of that. I also tried to assure him that I wouldn't let anything happen. He seems intent on not complying. Um, Piddlewick just starts playing with some of the creepy toys that Polinsky has made. So, with deepest regrets, Polinsky, I apologize, but we can't proceed. You, you went and found this magnificent masterpiece and brought it to me only to take it away? How much gold do you want? I'm afraid he's not for sale. He has a mind of his own. He's sentient. 300 gold. It's the most I can offer. I promised him a... something. I'm sorry. Well, you sure do know how to disappoint an old man. I haven't had a little friend since my monkey died. This would have been nice to have his company with me. I understand and I sympathize, but I'm afraid he's made up his mind. I'm across into a rest assured we will grab them. We will take loop. Where is Elias? Is he like halfway or almost there or what? Oh, um, no, your conversation with Stella lasted quite a bit. Um, so unless, okay. yeah, um, it seems like Mr. Piddlewick the second has found a toy that he likes. It's a, it's a raven on top of a skull. And, um, when you, when you turn the key on the side of the skull's head, it plays an eerie little melody. Is it Bloody Tears? Of course it's wow. Bloody Tears. <laughs> Great. Sorry, my soundboard's not working. Because <laughs> the stream That's all right. Um... But yeah, uh, he brings it over to you, Alex, uh, to to show you the music and, and the toy that he likes. She smiles and reaches down, caressing the top of its head. Do you like that one, my little friend? And it nods. How much for the music box, Linsky? It's not for sale. <laughs> wow. Uh, denied. It's quite late. I think I need to get some sleep. She sighs and tries to gently take the music box out of Piddlewick's hands. I'm sorry, my friend. Perhaps another time. I would very much like to buy it for you. He lets you take it and you have no problem getting it from him. She sets it back on the shelf where he can see, so next time they're around, perhaps Blinsky will be in a better, more compliant mood. Uh, you see Blinsky's face is beet red and his bottom lip is quivering. Well, as you said, sir, it is quite late. My apologies, we weren't able to make a deal. He just shakes his head and, and motions you to the door. Oh. Takes Piddlewick's hand and heads towards the door. And you hear him say goodbye with a crack in his voice as he closes and locks it behind you.
And uh, that's when you find Elias coming down the street. And um, Elias, you see that uh, the door is closed on them and Mr. Piddlewick is still in their company. Uh, what happened? Uh, what did I miss? He won't. Yeah, that, that was the plan. No, Elias, it wasn't. Oh, right, right. Um, did he remove its weapons? He took a look at them, but Piddlewick won't allow it. They're his weapons, and he needs them to defend himself. And Interestingly him enough, he hasn't, used, he hasn't used them except in that one case he was exalted. He hasn't actually tried to help us fight before. He crosses his arms. Against the things that we've been up against, do you really think he could? I don't expect anything of him. I think the wound was quite impressive, and the aim was definitely... Um, quite good as well. The man would, would be dead. I think that was quite an effective attack. Um, if we could trust our friend here to help us fight, I think that would be quite useful if he's going to tag along. It would be his own choice. Primarily, I just want to keep him safe. If that means keeping him out of combat, then that's what it has to be. He is a machine, isn't he? With the mind of his own. How is that possible? Spend some time with him. You might learn. I've observed his behavior, but I don't think he has a soul. Well, that's your opinion, my friend. I keep saying Piddlewick. It's Pidwick. Uh, Damn it. Yeah, that's Pidwick. I take it Blinsky was quite upset then. To the point where he practically threw us out of his shop. Hmm. I don't think we're going to be brokering any deals with him for toys anytime soon. I see you're quite set on this uh, outcome as well. Um, Mr. Pidwick, could you promise me that you won't hurt anybody if you can help it? Please, please be careful not to harm anyone, even if they say bad things to you. He's just staring daggers at you right now. <laughs> Don't you understand? You can't hurt someone just because they say a bad thing. He's just like an unmoving toy. Well, Alex, if we're going to treat this thing like a child, we may have to discipline like a child. They can't kill people without us doing anything about it. And he slowly turns his head to Alex. What would you have me do, Elias? Honestly. I'm not sure. It's your responsibility and your choice to keep this um, companion. If we're going to hold it as a one of our own, then we must have some way of keeping it under control if it tries to hurt people. I think that's reasonable. Of course, if you want to keep it around and have it do what it pleases, then um, I'll just have to deal with it, I guess. Oh, she takes Pidwick's hands and kneels down eye level to him. Can you promise me that you'll try not to hurt people, even if they're cruel? Rewards in the end. It's not always those. Tidwick just gives the tiniest little shrug. <laughs> if you will at least try, that's all I ask. He slowly raises his hands and then gives you a double thumbs up. Oh my god, he's adorable. 
So, Jeeves, is this how you raise the Belmont children in the house of uh, Belmont? <laughs> she glares at Elias at that. <laughs> no, not quite. Uh, Besides, I think Alex had more weapons on her than this man does. <laughs> <laughs> True uh, that. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I hope Jack is doing all right. Hmm. I'm sure he can take care of himself. All right, so it's very late at night. You guys are in Velaki. Um, what's your next move? Uh, when was our last rest? Uh, you was rested not... at the Vistani camp. Got a full rest in. That was just a few hours ago, right? Oh, it's so hard to tell, taking so long between sessions. I think on... At least a few hours at the ball talking and everything that we've done. Did we I do think a... between the travel and all the time we spent at the ball, we can at least do another short rest now. Did we do a long rest at the camp or a short one? I think we did a short rest at the camp. Mm. That sounds right. Because I think got a... I haven't got my hit dice back, so it must have been a short rest. Yeah, I still have spells that have been used, so I don't think we did, took a long one. All right. So I haven't, I haven't used any magic here in Velaki. I'm pretty sure. Well, then the last long rest must have been back in Castle Ravenloft itself. It was. It was in the crypt. Oh, wow, that seems like forever ago. All right. <laughs> you must be pretty exhausted. Yeah. We're healed though, but I guess that's just from Channel Divinity stuff. We're Healed, but that was from the short rest, not from yeah, the long rest. Because, like I said, I'm still missing a lot of hit dice. I only have three hit dice left right now. All right, so in character, Elias will say, um, I don't feel quite comfortable um, sleeping on all that's going on and just letting it happen, but at the same time, I don't know what I can do. So, I suppose resting is our next action. I would appreciate a good night's sleep. Hmm. I'm not sure I can sleep under the circumstances of all that's going on, but I guess we would try. Uh, what do you think, Jeeves? I can always use a nap. Sounds good. Okay. Jeeves sleeps like the dead. Where, sh where should we retire to do this? The blue water. Out of character. I don't want him anywhere near the blue water in. You mean Elias's shadow? Yep. Okay, so um yeah, in character you can answer, you know, wherever you want to rest. Perhaps we should ask the Baron if he has a room for us for the night. I'm sure he would. If he could be um, restored enough to help us out. At the very least, his lovely wife could be persuaded to let us stay. Help comfort her. The woman lost after all. Thank you left for us. Indeed. Alright, well, uh, the Burgermaster's Mansion is just right behind you guys. Uh... Jeeves, are you sure about this? What, sleeping in the house with the succubus? <laughs> <laughs> Was that, was that in character, Jeeves? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite sold on that idea myself, Mr. Jeeves. Um, but weirdly enough, the succubus seems intent on 
not harming us, though I, I can't say I trust her. Uh, their scheme is quite um, interesting. I talked to Stella. Um, I said I, I talked to Stella for a while, and she is um, a bit distraught over all that's happened. Of course, I think she may stay where she's at for now, which I can't fault her for. I'm sure she has much better prey in the household than to worry about your ragged old bones, my friend. Oh, you mean Lilith? Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Jeeves. Literally old. Old friend. <laughs> old butler oh. friend. <laughs> All right, so are you guys going back? Yeah, I think that's um, probably wise. All right, uh, you find the place heavily guarded and um, the guards ask your business. To plead for a place to stay for them. Burgermaster's family is not to be disturbed. Wait until morning. What? The guard Wait denies until... the guard denies you entry and says the Burgermaster's family is not oh, yeah. to be disturbed. Okay. <laughs> um Go watch your house. Uh, do you not recognize for the yes of course but do you really want to bother the baron where you have half the city guard is searching and the other half's here it's just hmm. fine and he just walks away without any any you know who we are got him to just give up and he walks into the the mansion um, and uh Soon you find Baron Vargas uh, in relatively good spirits. Ah, my friends. What a night, huh? I sure know how to throw a party. What can I do for you? Well, uh, we were just seeking a place to stay for the night, and um, I thought you wouldn't mind us, or your, our company, in case something happens again, too. He looks over at Mr. Pidwick, too, and says, My God, you still have that murderer robot with you rest assured Baron I've spoken with Pidwick he has promised me he'll be on his best behavior keeping an, I'll be keeping an eye on him personally I don't know murder bot's gonna murder <laughs> murder bot and he'll be evening if you allow the evening that is well, I have two servants' beds that are open, and the rest, I suppose, you could stay in the attic if you have bedrolls and things that you travel with. That would do. Very well, then. Uh, two of you may sleep in the servants' quarters and make yourself at home. We appreciate it, Baron. As always, your hospitality is legendary. Of course, you could use Isaac's old room. No one's using that. I just sort of forget it's there these days. Is but... <laughs> Sorry, you're cutting Your room's out. toe or still... I can't hear anybody. <laughs> I said Alex cringes, but at least it's a bed and Well, hey, at least your doll friend friend will, will feel right at home in that room full of dolls. So Mike, is that uh three rooms total or still two? 
the lower room that um, you mentioned. Yeah, the lower um, room has two beds that are unoccupied. Sure. Uh, it's next to the den. Let's see if I can just force this sheet to do what I want it to. Sharing. Uh, Where's the update client mode? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Sync with client view. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the 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 room there with the four beds in it, two beds will have servants and two beds will be open. And then on the upper story, there's Isaac's old room. And then above the Burgermaster and his wife's room is the attic access that you guys could stay in. And there's a dead body on the roof. And a partridge in a. Should we clean up or throw us off? Why, why I do you think that Alex and Tudor stay away from everyone else? Which is why, as much the idea, she opted to take Isaac's old room. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, the two servants' quarters beds for Jeeves and allies. All right. Ah, I forgot. There's not four of you right now. Um, yeah. yeah. So that's that's sufficient yeah. enough bedding. Um, you don't have to resort to using your bed rolls. So uh, Alex is alone with. <laughs> you're already in the bed. That is hilarious. Uh, that is so cute. Let me just Long rest. share that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll it's apply. a bed. I want my hit dice. I'll apply that. Um, before. Oops. Oops. Go ahead. And he'll. Um, as retires to bed, he will sit at the table and panel and. Um, but not retire to bed. Probably the one in the bottom left. You'll do what now? I'm sorry, my Discord is lagging out really bad. And, um, before I last, he sits at the table and writes a letter before he settles in for the night. Oh, you wrote a letter? He's present. He letting everyone know. I send the home with you. That's Stella. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, gee, you're getting really close there. <laughs> a little young for you there, buddy. <laughs> Are we I don't there? think the Baron will be too. In his bed. <laughs> Oh. I don't want me. Here's old room. I need it. <laughs> G Man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Are we long rest now? So can I apply the long rest now? Uh. Man. Mm -hmm. No, he's cut out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can hear us either. I can kind of hear you sometimes. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Here's, that's like flight for you though as well. We can hear you sometimes. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, streaming to Twitch definitely affects the quality of our gaming. Um, is everyone good for me to apply a long rest? Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. I don't quite know what went on with Elias, but. You can type it in the chat window and I'll see it. Okay, it's simple anyway. All right, uh, I've applied a long rest and um, Alex, roll a perception check. Oh Lord. All right, uh, Mr. Jeeves and Elias, roll a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Mr. Jeeves, um, you were asleep, but uh, yes. you were alight enough, you were alert enough to notice the uh, door open. And a Fair little... Now, Mike. I noticed what? You notice a door open and the form of a small little man walk to Elias's bed. Oh dear. Oh, Can I rec oh Lord. Lord. Yes, you recognize it as Mr. Pidwick the second. He seems to be staring oh, at Elias right now. Whistle and wave at him. Uh, Elias, roll a perception check. The second one? Yes. Alright. <laughs> uh, Mr. Chiefs, when you whistle, oh, him, nobody. the two uh, servants wake up and um, they look at you. Uh, you can kind of see here in the in the light from the curtain um, that these servants uh, want to know why you whistled and, and are waving. They don't quite see Mr. Pidwick yet and Elias is still asleep. Uh, Mr. Pidwick is still staring at Elias. What's going on? Says one of the servants. You can recognize him as the cook from the kitchen. This is great. great. I'm going to keep my fingers. Oh, Lord. This should be interesting role playing for Jeeves. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you want to do, Jeeves? I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> Um, no advice. Mr. Yeah. Jeeves just pulls the sheets over his head. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, okay. I do. I guess I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. he heard the Burgomaster offer Isaac's old room tour. All right, I'm going to go um, stealthy and then dash upstairs. Okay. <laughs> so, <there we> go. <laughs> you're half asleep and you just kind of stumble and fall up the stairs. Much noise. Uh, the servants met her. Oh, damn. And then uh, they try to go back to sleep. Elias, you are unconscious uh, with a murder bot in front of your bed. And Mr. Jeeves has just yeah. abandoned you. <laughs> Mr. Jeeves, you successfully uh, slink out of the room and, and go upstairs. Through the kitchen, up the stairs, and you do remember where Isaac's room is. You find the door uh, open. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wake her up and tell her about the about, uh, big week. She doesn't like being woken up. She smacks him with a pillow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you might want to dash downstairs and uh, save Elias. Uh, why? What's going on now? Uh, I think Pidwick's about to turn into uh, murder mode. Oh my god, I knew I should have locked the door. God damn it. And she throws the covers off herself and dashes. <laughs> all right uh you guys arrive in the room to see uh blood pouring over the pillow as elias oh, has been stabbed in the neck with a dart oh, Ouch. <laughs> so much for that long rest <laughs> well that wakes him up right well i imagine or does it? I mean, depending on how the dart is hits him, it might not wake him up. Unless it's poison. 
And this is where we'll conclude tonight's episode of Castlevania <laughs> Ravenloft RPG. Thank you, everybody, oh. for uh, being so patient since our last episode. I promise next time will also be just as fun. Damn it! Oh, I knew I should have locked the door. <laughs> well, where did he go? You just killed the last. <laughs> well, this was going to happen eventually anyway, I guess, even if you lock the door. It would have been fine if you stopped talking trash. I mean, I wasn't wrong. It had to be held responsible for its actions if it hurts people. You could have just left it alone. We could have given it back to Strahd and not had to deal with it. Was that your... I'm gonna keep it. She's gonna keep it around for a while and let it explore, and then she was going to bring it back to Strahd. That was the arrangement, the agreement. Really? Yeah. I, I guess I missed that. Strahd agreed to let him come away with him as long as he came back. Safe. Well, in the meantime, it was still going to have to be held, like, accountable somehow. Like, it was just going to do that again. It's a murder bot! Telling it to be held accountable for its actions, do you really think it's not going to try to murder you? Well, well, you told us it had feelings and a personality and everything, so I thought you... It does, and now you just pissed it off. Like the Burgermaster said, <laughs> murder brought's gonna murder. <laughs> yeah, and that was, that was kind of my point for us taking care of it, but I I, I mean, I know you, you hold more of keeping promises to Straw than Elias does. Oh, this is an out-of-character <laughs> fight between uh, Elias and Alex. This is great. <laughs> Why don't you save it to see uh, what happens next week? Are you still recording? Yeah, we're still streaming. Uh, oh, she, she's so going to deck him. <laughs> Just for that, she is so going to deck him. As he's already profusely from the neck. <laughs> Have a good little Belmont jab to the jaw. <laughs> All right. Such a, well, it's a bad time to be a this campaign. It's the worst. Bad time to be a what? A do-gooder. <laughs> well, I just love that Jeeves slunk right out of that room. He could have saved you. <laughs> he, he's like, nah, I'm dealing with this. Well, he probably didn't want right. to do anything. He didn't want to do anything to it because he knew it was Alex's thing. You know. Yeah. I'm not keen on Pit but you shot me too. <laughs> See, Jeeves isn't stupid. He knows not to piss off the murder bot. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to wake up like There's this one day. <laughs> oh. So, uh... Let me just look one more last time at <laughs> Elias' rolls to wake up. They were pretty poor. Um, they were all... They're all what? Ten and nine. Perfect. Yeah, you only had two. <laughs> One of them was four. <laughs> well, plus his perception modifiers. But yeah. uh, for being unconscious, like technically, I shouldn't even allow a roll. But when you know this a life or death situation, I think it's a good call. He probably right. Anyway. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I was feeling bad about not rolling a Sorry. stealth check for um, for Mr. Pidwick, but it's a natural 20. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, he was very Ooh, wow. sneaky. All right. So, uh, yeah, we will reconvene we next week. Right. I mean, it would have been hard for him to miss. He was in the bed and Elias was not... Yeah, it's a it's a coup de gras if they're unconscious. We'll see what uh what the results of all this mess will be next week. Until then, 
See everyone later. Wow. <laughs>